Hello, welcome back. This is Gerbil, and I'm going to share with you a really useful tip for Apple's Keynote presentation software. I really, really love this tip, and I think that you're going to get a lot out of it. So let's build a fast, simple animation that you could use for any kind of presentation. So I'm going to stack a series of identical objects uh, on top of each other. And when I say identical, I just mean the shape. So I've got a square, a blue square. Now I'm going to have a green square. On top of the green square, I'm going to have a pink square. On top of the pink square, I'm going to have a yellow square. And then underneath all of that, let's put a star right in the middle. Why not? So I'm going to send the star to the back. I don't want it to do anything. I just want it to be there. But I want all these squares to pop in and move around magically to different places. But that's difficult to manage when they're all on top of each other. Now this could be for a million reasons, but this is very common. So here's how most people would do it. You would select your object, you'd go to animate, choose your animation, choose your build-in if you want some kind of a fun build-in for it. Now let's just go squish, looks good. Now I know that I now have two objects. I have a squish intro and I have a squish move, and I can preview this and <laughs> see the action. But now how do I apply those same effects to the objects underneath it. Again, most people would move them and then they would make the adjustments to it, add the squish, add the move, and at that point, then they would move this one out of the way. But every time you do that, that's something else that you have to move back later. So here's how you get around this. And this is the magic tip for today. Go to the view menu, show object list, or on your keyboard, press command shift L. But that drops down a really, really great list of your objects on your presentation here. So we can see I have a yellow square, pink square, green square, blue square, blue star. And notice when I click on them, it selects the object on the presentation. I don't have to move anything to find it anymore. It's just automatically going to grab it. You can also change the ordering here. You can bring it to the front, back, align, distribute, and a bunch of other things. So this is very helpful. Now, I'm going to select the green square. I'm going to add my, my squish and my move features to it real quick. There's some animations. We'll pull it down. I'm going to grab my blue one. Let's do the same squish action move, and we'll bring it up to reveal that beautiful star underneath. OK, fantastic. Now, when I go look at my build order, I have a new problem that's going to be solved by that object list. The problem is that I don't know which one of these is which. They're all named square. So in the object list, I can double click on the names and I can now type in a name for these objects. I'm gonna call these squares based on their colors. And you'll notice that as I do it, in the animation build order screen, it's changing the names as I type them. So I now know that these are my yellows, these are my pinks, these are my green and my blues and we'll just have these all happen automatically. Okay, so now when I hit preview, I can see there's my bounce and my move and the rest of them. Beautiful. And so that's it. That is the magic of the list over here. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe and have a great day wherever you are. See ya.